If you've been anywhere around the internet in the past pandemic or so, you might have noticed that everyone has a content calendar. But if you're like me, maybe that doesn't work for you. And if that's the case, you might want to stick around because in this video, I'm going to talk about how I use Obsidian to plan my YouTube videos. I'm going to break it down into why I don't use a content calendar, how I use Obsidian to gather my ideas, and then how I turn those into YouTube videos. So let's get to it. I'm not a full-time content creator. I have a regular 9 to 5 job and I have a lot of hobbies that I like to spend my time on. So honestly, content calendars stress me out. In fact, when I tried it out for myself, I found that it was much more work and planning than actually getting work done itself, especially because I work alone. I don't have a team of people hanging out behind me to do my research, to do my scripts and edit my videos. This is a one woman shop. And so I don't actually need as complicated of a system as a lot of other content creators might. If you've seen any of my other YouTube videos, you might have noticed that I like to use Obsidian a lot. If you haven't heard of Obsidian, it's basically a markdown editor that has a lot of really cool features. I use it for everything from journaling to product management, and more recently, I have been using it to organize all of my ideas for these YouTube videos. I typically have Obsidian up all day long, so when I have an idea, I just write it down. It doesn't matter if I'm on the right page or not, I just put it in there, I put a tag, and I'll come back to it later. A lot of my ideas actually come from my book notes. I like to read a lot and I like to take down notes on the things I'm reading. I actually have a video right up here on how I do that. And so these inspire some of the videos I make for this channel. And while tags and book notes are really useful for gathering ideas, to turn all of these ideas into videos, I have to be a lot more organized. And this is where Obsidian's Kanban board and templates come in. If you're not familiar with a Kanban board, it's a tool that shows where various items are in a process. You have cards to show all the different work that needs to be done, and then columns to show the different steps in the process. Most steps on my Kanban board have a corresponding template. This makes it easy for me to remember exactly what needs to go on in each step. First, I gather my ideas. I sit down and I look through some inspirational resources, and I try to list as many ideas as possible. During this step, I also go through all of my YouTube ideas tags and my book notes so that I could double check to see if there's any ideas worth getting from there. For some of the ideas I gather, I already have a rough idea of where I want the video to go. So I just put a very rough outline and I move it to my ideas with runway column. My next step is to do research. I like to check if there's any interest for the idea. Are people looking into this? Have other people made videos about it? What titles and thumbnails have worked for them? My next step is to think of titles. This is really important because it's one of the first two things that people might see when they see my video, and it determines whether or not they're gonna click and watch it. This is where my templates come in. Over time, I've already established the patterns and ideas I like to think about when I'm brainstorming for titles. So for this template, I basically go through each bullet point and I think of as many ideas as I can for each one. At the end of this step, I basically have a list of titles to choose from and normally one of them really stands out for me. I do the thumbnails next. I'll argue that this might be even more important than the titles because when I look at YouTube videos, I see the thumbnails first and I don't even bother looking at the titles sometimes. But when I'm making my own videos, I like to do the titles first because it establishes a good direction for me to start thinking about things. My thumbnail template is pretty similar to my title one where I basically brainstorm each bullet point. The way this works for me is that I grab my iPad and I doodle each bullet point. And as I'm doodling and sketching it, I'm starting to think about whether or not I want this particular element to be on my thumbnail. The next step is the second longest step in my process. It's scripting. Some people like to outline their script I like to write down every single word. And this is because even if I don't follow every word of the script as I'm filming, I will at least have thought of the words and phrases that I want to use and I know how to connect one idea to another. Once I figured this out, I actually cut down my filming process in half. I also use a template for this. I like to think of how I'm gonna hook my audience in so that people don't click into my video and then immediately leave. I like to think about the structure of my video, how are the timestamps gonna look. I often base my content on the rough outline that I created at the very beginning, but sometimes I stray away from this. And then I also like to think about how am I gonna end the video? What video or playlist am I gonna point to at the end? This next step is actually the easiest part for me. Filming the video doesn't take me a very long time. I sit down, I turn on my camera, and I follow my script. 
I still use a template for it because every once in a while I'll forget to take thumbnail photos or I'll forget to shoot b-roll but otherwise this is really fast. Hopefully you notice that I put in effort when I edit my videos. I like to make sure that my videos are concise and entertaining and useful at the same time. I have a checklist template that lists all the different things I've learned about editing and I like to go through that as I edit my video to make sure that I'm not forgetting things. Finally, I get to create my thumbnails and my YouTube descriptions and I get to upload it. For my thumbnails, I just base it on the sketch that I did earlier. And for my description, I just have a short list of reminders to make sure that I don't forget to put timestamps on and any relevant links that might be included. I've been using Obsidian to help me create my YouTube videos since day one about seven months ago. And if you're interested in finding out how else I use Obsidian, you might want to check this playlist right here where I put all of my Obsidian content and until next time.